Hi, it's Chris with Gadgets and Gravel. So I'm out cutting some firewood today, and one of the things that I like to do is listen to music when I'm out doing different things. It's kind of tough to do when you're cutting fire with chainsaws and splitters and tractors and all that kind of stuff going on. Plus all that noise gets to be loud and isn't good for your hearing anyways. But I get to test these 3M branded WorkTunes Connect Solar headphones with Bluetooth inside of it. Let's find out more. All right, so before we get going, uh, first, full disclosure, I was sent these for free for testing from 3M. Uh, however, I'm not getting paid to do this. They get no input on the video, will not see this prior to it going live. So this is my honest opinion of these. Uh, with that being said, let's talk about the kind of just the overall design first. So these look like a typical set of ear protection muffs. If you've ever used them for whether you're in uh, shooting sports or for uh, any kind of uh, industrial work or anything like that, these are what you'd probably see in something like this. Um, these have got the wires to them because they do have active noise canceling into them as well as just the passive canceling, canceling you're gonna get from the muffs, right? Um, so they got a real soft ear cup. They do have a left and a right designation. Um, you can easily adjust the size that you need. I'm not going to because I finally got them set where I like them. Um, but they're real comfortable. I've been wearing them quite a bit lately. Wear them with a hat. Um, does have a little indention inside of the padding up here on the headband to kind of cover that little button up there. This isn't pushed down, so it's comfortable to wear with a hat. I uh, haven't have had any issues with that. Um, outside of that, they're just kind of your typical headphones. They're not too heavy. Um, they can get a little bit sweaty. They are sweat and water resistant, um, but this covering here is just a plastic, which is meant to kind of help with uh, cleanliness and things like that, and so it doesn't get too grimy when you're out working and things. So, um, but I've worn them for hours on end. I'm not sure how they're gonna go during the summer when I'm wearing them while I mow, um, but we'll see. So far, I've been enjoying them though, as far as the comfort um, during the winter and fall as I've been using them on while I was on the tractor to clear snow and like I said, cutting firewood today. Um, so they're pretty good for that. All right, so let's talk about the technology that's in these. Uh, so like I said, these do have wires going to them, so they have active noise canceling to go along with the passive canceling from covering your ears. Um, 3M says that they are rated at 26 decibel reduction um, to keep safe hearing levels. The There has been some complaints I've seen online, and I get where they're coming from on the audio. So when you are listening to music or podcasts or whatever you'd like to listen to, um, that it's quiet, and I do understand that, but this is being limited, since this is for safety protection for your ears, the safe listening level is 85 decibels. That's what you're gonna see for, uh, also see on like headphones that are made specifically for kids, is a safe listening level for prolonged periods is 85 decibels. So that's where this caps off at. So it can be a little bit quiet, um, depending on what you're doing. You may notice it, you know, harder to listen to if you're on a, like I said, driving on the tractor or something like that. It can get drowned out a little bit, but I can still hear it enough. I and mean, I'm not going to be trying to have a party or anything with them, but um, it's better than nothing. So that's how the, the my note on that. Um, I don't know what version of Bluetooth it is. 3M just states latest Bluetooth technology. I haven't been able to find anything in their documentation they've sent or that's online it's calling what, what version of Bluetooth they're using. Um, but I have had good connectivity with both uh, iOS and on Android. Um, whether the phone was in my pocket or it was in my tractor and I'd wandered off, um, I had pretty good range with it. So um, good connectivity for that. The only weird hiccup I've had is that Randomly, the headphones just shut off, even though they have 100% battery. So I'm not sure what that's about. It'll just shut off. Um, turn it right back on and it works fine, but I'm not sure why that's happening. Controlling the music is kind of nice. So you got a single power button here that also can be used to pause with a single press. Um, double press will skip tracks. Then you've got this. I like this idea. So they've got the volume button here. It's a single button, but it's rubberized and it's a big button to push up or down to control the volume. So it's really nice. You can control it with gloves and you don't have to pull your phone out. So you can pause, take phone calls on this because it does have a built in microphone to use for phone calls as well as using the microphones to help reduce outside noises could be coming in. Um, with that being said, when on a phone call, I haven't taken phone calls while on the tractor. I was told that it. You know, you could tell I was on the tractor. There was something going on in the background, but it wasn't completely being blown out. Um, my voice wasn't, so. Um, but it, 
it seems like it brings in noise from the outside instead of reducing additional noise from the outside. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. It isn't distracting, but you can't, it does seem more like you've got just regular earbuds in than noise canceling headphones on. So take that what you will. Phone calls aren't too bad on it. Um, I could hear my wife just fine on the other end. When the call ended, it went right back to my music. So it's kind of nice. But here is the coolest part. So the solar part. Across the head, headband here, we've got a solar panel. It's powered by Powerfoil is the branding on the uh, solar panel across here. So this is being called a, not just solar panel, um, because according to 3M, this also will take any light source, whether indoor or outdoor, and convert it to energy for the batteries inside. Um, it is rated at 40 hours of use on the battery, uh, which is rechargeable via USB-C. Um, but if you've got any light source at all, so if you're not working uh, in a cave or in a very dimly lit area for extended periods, um, you'll have indefinite battery. I've charged these once. I got down to one point in time, I had about 90%. And since then I've been at hundred percent now that I've been using them outside more and it's been sunnier outside on this obscenely nice February day in Kansas. But anyways, so that's kind of the technology in this. That's really it. There's not a whole lot to them. Um, they're Bluetooth headphones uh, that happen also be ear protection that do a great job of helping with that, uh, reducing outside noise. So when you're doing loud things, it's always a great idea if you're, you know, if you're going to be mowing, um, weed eating, things like that, doing yard work, chainsaws, uh, anything or be loud, it's a good idea to give yourself some ear protection. Um, so this will do that, but also let you listen to music, podcasts, um, so you don't go completely crazy in the silence of your own head. Or maybe you don't do that, it's just me. <laughs> but um, it's kind of, they're great. Uh, they're comfortable, they do a good job of reducing noise, take phone calls on them, control your music on here, whether you have gloves on or not. So uh, they're good, they're not great, they're not gonna win any awards for their audio quality, at least not in my mind. Um, but like I said, they're good headphones, aside from the random disconnects I've had, or not disconnects, powering off even though it's a full battery. Um, they're good. I'd definitely check them out if you're in the market uh, for some hearing protection and you like to listen to music or podcasts while you work. Uh, these are great to check out. So anyways, uh, thanks for coming over and checking out the video. Hope to see you around the channel more. Again, Chris Waddell, Gadgets and Gravel. Take care.